Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel D Creations Resources. We are looking at multiple choice questions from physics and maths and today we are going to tackle a question on the concept of dot product or scalar product of vectors. So two vectors have been given to you namely a bar which is i cap minus 2j cap plus 3k cap and b bar which is 4i cap plus 5j cap minus k cap and you've been asked to find its dot product or scalar product and some options are given to you. Now if you know what a dot product is and how to find it out it's a half minute question. So I would suggest just pause this video find the answer check which option is correct and then you can resume with the video because I'll be explaining what dot product is and how to do it and then give the uh, give the correct answer. For those of you who don't know it let's proceed with what dot product or scalar product of vector is, vectors is. Now the notation you can see it's here a bar dot b bar. So if there are two vectors a bar and b bar this is how dot product is denoted that's why the name. But actually the other name that is scalar product of vectors is a more suitable name because it tells you what magnitude or what or what is going to be the nature of the final answer that you get. So in fact it's a number or a scalar you will see how. Now how, what is the procedure of doing a dot product? Let us consider a vector a bar which we will say is a1 i cap plus a2 j cap plus a3 k cap and similarly let there be vector b bar which is b1 i cap plus b2 j cap plus b3 k cap. Now how do you find it out? You have to take product of corresponding components and then add them all up. So basically dot product is sum of the products of their corresponding components. Now if you recall in case of these two vectors the i components were namely a1 and b1. So you take their product. Similarly j components were a2 and b2 their product is taken and k components were a3 and b3 their product is taken as well. And then all of them are added. So I will repeat if the vector a bar is a1 i cap plus a2 j cap plus a3 k cap and vector b bar is b1 i cap plus b2 j cap plus b3 k cap you are basically multiplying the corresponding components and adding them up, adding them up. so the answer is a1 b1 plus a2 b2 plus a3 b3. Now there is other way also in terms of the angle which is between the two vectors and this is how the dot product is given product of the magnitudes of each of the vectors multiplied by cosine of the angle between them and this definition is also used to find out the angle between two vectors if we know the dot product and so on and so forth. So let's go, go back to our question to find out the answer. Remember we are going to use this definition. So the question here what are the i components 1 and 4. So 1 into 4 is 4. j components minus 2 plus 5. So minus 2 into 5 is minus 10 and k component 3 and minus 1 so 3 into minus 1 is minus 3. So what is going to be your answer? It's 4 minus 10 minus 3 so minus 9. So c is going to be the answer. In fact in this question the first option is ruled out then and there because the answer has to be a scalar it has to be a number it cannot be a vector so anyway first option was ruled out and for the other options you have to calculate it so going back and showing you the final answer c is the is the correct option now dot product has a lot of significance and uh, its generalization is called inner product it's an important concept when you learn vector spaces also now consider two vectors such as force and displacement. If you take their dot product it gives you work done. So a lot of physical significance for uh, this kind, this concept as well. And uh, 
the other product is cross product we will be later solving questions based on cross product as well so that's all for now we'll come with come come up with uh, more interesting concepts as well as questions in the further episodes thank you